All right, thanks so much, Francis. In the meantime, government leaders of the Bahamas are at a World Expo in Dubai. Now it's hoped their presence will allow the Bahamas to grow. Now they're also spreading out the, world, the word about the island's culture. Our One Caribbean News, DeAndre Hamilton reports. The Bahamas celebrated its National Day at Expo 2020 Dubai on Monday. It is a six-month event hosted by Dubai and the United Arab Emirates from October to March under the theme Connecting Minds, Creating the Future. In his remarks at the Bahamas National Day Expo, Prime Minister Philip Davis said he hopes the achievements of the Expo will help Bahamians to see things anew, have their imaginations expanded, their tolerances strengthened, and have a life-changing, once-in-a-lifetime experience of other cultures that they will talk about for the rest of their lives. Director of Communications at the Office of the Prime Minister, Latre Ramming, while speaking on the participation of the Bahamas at the World Expo, said the country's involvement is to secure trade and investment opportunities. Well, the first floor of the pavilion displays beauty of Bahamian culture and navigates sustainable futures for the island nation. The second floor, Embassy for Business, is primarily concerned for cultivating opportunities for international investment and partnerships. Hundreds of commercial representatives have already expressed interest in doing business in the Bahamas. Still, criticisms have followed the Bahamian government's decision to participate. Among other things, the near $1 million bill is slammed. Leader of the Coalition of Independence, Lincoln Bain, during a Facebook Live on January 16th, described the trip as an epic fail. The Dubai trip is an epic fail, like the Junkanoo, uh, and we got to do better. Bain was speaking on the choice of representatives and said government should use this opportunity to have negotiations that will empower Bahamians. Our government is over there begging for people to come here and take advantage of what we have. Hey, we gave you some crown land. You come and you make some money off of us and you give a couple jobs to our people. Do you see the difference in thinking? They should be looking to empower Bahamians who want to go into business. That's what all of the first world countries are doing. While only time will tell, based on the images emerging from the happenings in Dubai, it seems the government is doing just that.